Hi guys, welcome to this, our fourth video tutorial on our Photoshop course. Now in this one we're going to have a look at the pen tool. Pen tool is a vector selection tool, unlike the other selection tools up at the top, which are bitmap selection, which select pixels. This is a vector selection based on lines and curves. Now the first thing I want to do is to make a selection of this building, the Odyssey here in Belfast. First, I'm going to just zoom in. I'm not gonna go for the most detailed of selections, but a reasonably good selection. So Command plus to zoom the screen in, holding down the space bar, I'm just gonna move the screen over. So I wanna make a selection of the building. I'm gonna select, I might, maybe I'll just take it out slightly. I'm gonna select the pen tool with this option, selected the paths option it means it'll create paths they won't appear as filled shapes as it would appear with this selection shape layers so very simply i click take the mouse to the next point and click if you wish to create a curved point i will click drag and pull the handles to create the curve wherever i click on the screen the pen will follow the direction of this path to change the direction so it does not follow this handle but this one i'm going to hold down the alt key on the keyboard and click right on the center path is gone i'm just going to make a nice neat little path point there there so i'm just going to very neatly just work my way around the building click drag click drag I'm going to take my last point and hover over my first point. When I see the circle at the bottom right of the pen, it gives me the option now to complete the path. I'm going to click with the mouse, keep the mouse pressed down in order to create a curve. The selection has now been made. Now, one of the primary reasons for doing vector selections in Photoshop is so the image can then be taken into a page layout application like InDesign and everything outside the clipping will be ignored so type could wrap around the image. What I want to do now is to mask out everything except the building of the Odyssey. The nice way to do this is very simply here with the mask button. If I hold down the command key on the keyboard and click the add vector mask, as we can see it very neatly masks out the background revealing the Odyssey building. The next feature I wish to look at is editing paths with the various path tools available to us in Photoshop. To get access to the path tools here in the toolbar, I'm going to select this tool first of all, which is the direct selection tool. With the direct selection tool selected, with the direct selection tool selected, if I click on my line, it activates the points, or at least makes the points visible. This then gives me the opportunity to click on them and to alter the selection. When the point becomes solid filled, it is then active. The other tool I wish to look at is the path selection. Path selection makes a global selection of the line. If I click on the path, it is effectively moves everything. So I'm just gonna Command Z to undo that feature. I'm just gonna go back to the direct selection tool. And what I wanna have a look at folks is, let's say for talk's sake, I have a hard point and I wish to convert the hard point to a curve point. I'll position my mouse here on the line. The next feature, I wish to look at is viewing paths and the background object. This is very useful. While I have made a selection using a path, I want to be able to see the background to help me fine tune the selection. And we have a fantastic feature here in the masks palette called density. And if I bring the density down, it will begin to reveal the background. And as the background is revealed, I can then see much clearer potential areas that I may want to edit. I'm going to switch to and I want to switch to my path selection tool and just move the object perhaps into position a little bit better. 
Finally, I'd like to look at adding and deleting points to my path. To achieve this, we select the pen tool. With the pen tool selected, if I hover the pen over the line where there is not an existing point, I will see a pen plus. By, select, by clicking, it will then add a new point onto the line. By clicking on the line, where there is not by clicking on the line where there is not an existing point a little plus will appear at the bottom left of the pen when i click an additional point is added alternatively if i want to delete a point very simply position your mouse over an existing point a pen minus will appear i will click and it will remove the point now i hope you've enjoyed that very much introduction to the pen tool. I will be doing some a lot more very detailed exercises using this feature. Uh, let me know guys what you think of the tutorial. Give me a comment and anything you're interested in drop me a line and I'll gladly incorporate it into my tutorials.